Welcome to week five of the England Hockey Women's Premier Division Goal Show. I'm Simon Mason and here's the best of the action. Our first game was an end-to-end -end affair at Clifton Robinsons with Holcomb the visitors. Ashley Mannering put the home side ahead in the sixth minute, pouncing on the rebound, the quickest to finish. Then Holcomb levelled it up for a lovely solo effort from Agueda Moroni Malgarejo. Then four minutes later, Holcomb were ahead as Beth Bingham controlled the high ball well to finish into the bottom corner. Early in the second half, Lorna Jane Cruikshank got her second of the season to extend the advantage. With four minutes left on the clock, Catherine Lane scored for Clifton, but Holcomb held on for a 3-2 win. Buckingham hosted Swansea and went ahead early on for a Lottie Porter goal. The lead was doubled in the 13th minute with Abby Brown scoring her first of the season. Early in the second half, Jess Rowe gave the visitors hope with this reverse into the bottom corner. But another Abby Brown penalty corner strike meant all three points went the way of Buckingham. Joint top of the table, East Corinthians went to Hampstead and Westminster looking to continue their unbeaten start to the season and they got off to a great start as Ellie Reyes scored in the fourth minute. The lead was doubled early in the second half with Sophie Bray deflecting in from close range for her fourth goal of the season. Lauren Turner gave the home side hope in the 63rd minute but it wasn't enough as East Corinthians ran out 2-1 winners. The final match of the weekend was between Wimbledon and the University of Birmingham. After a goalless first half, Anna Toman fired in a 46th minute penalty corner for Wimbledon. This was followed by a Lucy Holder goal to give the home side a 2-0 win. The table looks like this. East Grinstead lead the way over Loughborough students, although the student side have a game in hand. In the middle of the table, six teams are separated by three points, with the University of Birmingham and Swansea in danger of being cut adrift even at this early stage. 